Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you will be fine and enjoying good health i'm your teacher maryam arif as we have completed chapter number 1 chemical equilibrium i hope you are solving self assessment exercises neatly on your registers today i will explain the solutions of self assessment exercises multiple choice questions given in your exercise and review questions as well so open your notebooks write neatly the topic and questions on your register with the date mentioned as well i'll check your notes right after reopening of your school so don't forget to make proper notes of exercises given between the chapters and at the end of every chapter starting from self assessment exercise 9.1 you have to write forward and reverse reaction and you have to describe macroscopic characteristics of each The first one is the reaction between nitrogen and hydrogen for the production of ammonia. So for the forward reaction you will just single headed arrow directed towards ammonia as it is forward reaction. And for the reverse reaction you will put ammonia first again single headed arrow and then you will write the reactants nitrogen and hydrogen. As it is reverse reaction so you will write products first then you will write the reactants nitrogen and hydrogen. Try to solve the bit two by yourself. Now look at self assessment exercise 9.2 for this exercise you have to write equilibrium constant expression for the reversible reaction number 1 is the reaction between oxygen and ozone this is so simple as you know that to write the equilibrium constant expression we write the products concentration in numerator raised to the power of their moles divided by reactants concentration raised to the power of their moles so in this case what is the product ozone is the product you will write ozone in the numerator and oxygen in the denominator and the moles are written as power above the square brackets number 2 is the reaction between hydrochloric acid and oxygen for the production of water and chlorine again you will write the products in numerator and the reactants in denominator raised to the power of their moles and you have to write the concentration in square brackets in self assessment exercise 9.3 you have to write units for equilibrium constant question number 1 is the reaction between nitrogen and oxygen for the production of nitrogen oxide for units you will first write equilibrium constant expression After writing equilibrium constant expression you will write the concentration in moles per cubic decimeter after cutting the concentrations with each other we will see that this expression will have no unit why it has no unit because the total number of moles of reactant is equal to the total number of moles of product in a balanced chemical equation write the solution of question number 2 on your notebooks as mentioned on your slides let's move on to exercise starting from the mcqs so open your books and mark the correct options number 1 is which one is true about equilibrium state option d is correct for which says that both forward and reverse reaction continues at the same rate number 2 is when a mixture of hydrogen and iodine is sealed in a flask and temperature is kept at 25 degrees celsius following equilibrium is established which substance will be present in equilibrium mixture option d is correct that is hydrogen iodine and hydrogen iodide all of these will be present in equilibrium number 3 is what are the units for n2 plus 2o2 gives to no2 option c is correct for number 3 and number 4 is which of the following will not have any unit for kc after solving this question you will find out that option d is correct all of these Number 5 is concentration of reactants and products at equilibrium remains unchanged if option D is correct all of above are observed Number 6 is which of the following does not happen when a system is at equilibrium state for this option A is correct forward and reverse reaction stop MCQ number 7 is for which reaction KC has units of moles per cubic decimeter You will solve this on your notebooks and then you will find out that option C is correct it will have units of mole per cubic decimeter. Number 8 is in an irreversible reaction equilibrium is option C is correct that never established. Number 9 is active mass means 
Option D is correct. Mass of substance in moles per cubic decimeter in a dilute solution. Last MCQ of this exercise is for a reversible reaction, which substance is the product of reaction? As you already know that the product concentration are always written in numerator. So in this case, product is C. So option D is correct. You will do question number two by yourself as all the answers of these questions given in different topics of your chapter. So find these answers from the chapter. Now look at question number three, which is about following reaction can occur during lightning storms. You have to write equilibrium constant expression for this reaction. You have to determine the units of equilibrium constant and you also have to determine forward and reverse reaction. Now consider the first part. How can you write the equilibrium constant expression? This is so simple. You will write the products concentration in numerator and reactants concentration in denumerator raised to the power of their moles. For example, you will write 2 for ozone over the bracket and you will write 3 for oxygen over the bracket. That's how you will write the equilibrium constant expression. Now for the equilibrium constant unit, you will just put the units in numerator and denominator for both the reactants and product. After cutting them with each other, you will get mole inverse decimeter cube. To write forward and reverse reaction, you will write oxygen first for forward reaction. And for the reverse reaction, you will write ozone first and then you will write the oxygen. In both of the reaction, you will use single headed arrows as both reactions are unidirectional reactions. Moving on towards question number four. The coal reacts with hot steam to form carbon monoxide and hydrogen. These substances react further in the presence of a catalyst to give methane and water vapors. You have to write forward and reverse reaction for this reaction. You have to derive equilibrium constant expression for the reaction. And you also have to determine units for equilibrium constant. Using the same method as I have mentioned in the previous slide, you can attempt this question as well. So solve it by yourself neatly on your registers. Moving on towards question number five. Write equilibrium constant expression for each of the following reactions. Part 1 is water reversible reaction giving hydrogen and half moles of oxygen. Now let's see how many moles of reactants are there and how many moles of products are over here. In reactant side we have just one mole of water and in product side we have one mole of hydrogen and half mole of oxygen. To write the expression for this reaction you will write water in denominator raised to power 1 as there is 1 mole of water and hydrogen and oxygen raised to their powers of mole will be written in numerator. So you will write 1 by 2 for oxygen over the square bracket. You will do part B, C and D in a same way. So try to solve it by yourself. In question number 6, you have to determine the units of equilibrium constant for the following reaction. Number 1 is COCl2 giving carbon monoxide and chlorine. Again, let's see how many moles of reactants and products are there. You can see that there are 2 moles of products and 1 mole of reactant. So you will write product concentration in numerator and you will Convert the concentration in moles per cubic decimeter. Cutting the concentration moles per cubic decimeter in numerator with the moles per cubic decimeter in denumerator, we will get one mole per cubic decimeter unit for part A. Same method will be adopted to find out the units of equilibrium constants for the other reactions given in this question. So try to solve these questions by yourself neatly on your registers. Question number 7 and 8 are already given back in your chapter, so read the answers from your chapter. Moving on towards think tank, question number 1 is, bromine chloride decomposes to form chlorine and bromine. For this reaction, you have to write chemical equation 
equilibrium constant expression and units for equilibrium constant. So the first one is you have to write the chemical equation. First you have to decide what is the product and what is the reactant. As the question says that bromine chloride is going to decompose. So the first step is you have to write bromine chloride in reactant side. In product side you will write bromine and chlorine. As these two gases are diatomic gases you will write Br2 plus Cl2. Now you also have to balance this chemical equation as we have two bromines on the right side of this chemical equation and two chlorines as well. So to balance we will write two with bromine chloride BrCl. The equilibrium constant expression and unit for equilibrium constant expression is also shown over here. You can also write it by yourself on your registers. Next question is equilibrium constant expression for a reaction is given below. Write chemical equation for this reaction and derive the units for equilibrium constant. Now the equilibrium constant expression is given and you have to write the chemical equation. As we already know that the products concentration in equilibrium constant expression are always written in numerator raised to the power which is moles of that product. So product is NO2 over here and the power says that there are 2 moles of NO2 over here. So you will write products 2 NO2 and the reactant is N2O4 and there is no power raised to the square bracket. So there is 1 mole of N2O4. The chemical equation will become N2O4 reversible reaction giving 2 moles of NO2. To write the equilibrium constant expression units, you will just put the concentration units for both reactants and product and you will get the unit. Question number 11 is, for which of the following reactions are both reactants and products likely to be found when the reaction appears to be complete? Explain. Number 1 is carbon plus oxygen giving carbon dioxide and number 2 is hydrogen fluoride giving hydrogen and fluorine. So part 1 says, in this reaction, carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. This reaction is irreversible reaction because it takes place in one direction only. In irreversible reaction, the tendency of reverse reaction is negligible. Therefore, both reactants and products are not likely to be found when the reaction appears to be complete. So reaction 1 will be irreversible reaction as the direction of arrow is showing you that this is unidirectional reaction and reaction number two will be reversible reaction as the direction of arrow is double headed. Last question of this exercise asks cobalt chloride form pink crystals when they are heated water is evolved and they turn blue. Explain how could you use cobalt chloride as a test for water. Cobalt chloride test paper turns pink when it is exposed to water or moisture. The blue form is cobaltous chloride dehydrate and the pink form is cobaltous chloride hexahydrate. Hexa means 6 and it is already given in formula in your question. So explanation is that anhydrous, anhydrous means that in the presence of water or any sort of moisture. For such kind of test, you have to make sure that you may not touch the uh, chemical with your bare hands as your hands also consist of some moisture and that moisture can also change the results of your test. You can note down the answer from this slide. That's it for today. Don't forget to make neat and clean notes on your register. After few days, I will take a small quiz including short question answers and MCQs. So prepare for that quiz as well. If you have any question regarding this topic, you can ask me anytime. Don't waste your time. Keep learning. Take care and have a good day.